Welcome back, beautiful people. Guys, we are at the end of the week. As always, we need to know, we need to understand or try to figure it out if it's worth it to pull, maybe it's better to hold. Are the banners that are come out good or not? So let's take a look together, guys. We coming from the anniversary. It's almost finished, but we got so many banners, so many new hero one after the other, so many unlimited one, one after the other. So if you are a free to player or a low spender, it's quite hard that you have enough crystal to can pull in this banner. But maybe you got lucky enough to have some uh, crystal left, enough to can pull in one of these banners. Which one to choose and how to go? Let's check it out together. So Friday, we are going to have Invocation of a Spirit, drop rate of a legendary hero, increase two times during the event. And we are going to have Crazy Divine Summoning. Again, the chance increased by two. These two are common, coming every week. Nothing new under the sun. What we are going to get also on Friday, we are going to have Surprise Invocation of a Spirit. It's one plus one. Get one random legendary and you guarantee you're going to get another one. This is only for one time. So as soon as you got that, you can move the banner. But you are new to the game. Few months in. You have, I don't know, 5, 10, 15 legendary is not enough. You need to maximize your chance to get legendary. And the best way to maximize that is by pulling on 1 plus 1. This is the best way. Sometimes you can get lucky and get two legendary one pull in another banner, but that is luck. It's one on a million. In this one, you are guaranteed. You get one plus one. They can be bad, they can be medium, they can be S tiers. So this is the best chance for you. Instead, if you are into the game for quite a lot now, I'm eight months into the game. For me, the best banner now start to become this one. Was really requested by the community, by the way. Nation Summoning. During the event, the first legendary hero summoned is guaranteed to be a new one. Guys, this one is amazing. The best things to do in this game, guys, is play and play with new hero. Give you different challenge, different way to build uh, teams. And this is the fun of the game. So I have really, I don't really know, 32, 33, maybe 34. I don't remember now. But I have enough legendary to can face everything. I would love to have some new one to can have more option, opportunity to make different team, crazy team. And have a chance to put something out there for you to give you tips and ideas. But I need different legendaries. I still miss Silas, Hatsu. And they are so amazing. Honestly, I don't have enough uh, crystal to pull for any event. I got broke for the anniversary, but I will anyway try to pull for the nation summoning for with what I have, hoping to get there. The most important banner for this week, guys, is the ancient, special ancient summoning. Are you saving your ancient for from forever? You are free to play and, it, and you know, even if you are a, a low spender, you know how hard it is to get this ancient charm. And you want to pull during a very good event. Guys, there is no better event than this one. Here you are going to get free tools if you are lucky. Because even if increase, still on a chance. But it's a good one. <laughs> if you really save uh, crystal from an eternity, this is the moment. Having free tools, that is the best legendary in the game. Meaning, you win the game. It's super, super strong. He has so much going through his kit. He has this talent that will increase 10% his max HP as well as his true damage. True damage, meaning don't crit. So you just need to focus on attack. And this guy can be super, super painful. This can stack up to 5 times 50% extra true damage. 50% extra HP. It's awesome, just the talent. He have uh, his basic attack, 100% magic damage to one enemy, can go up to 120 if you max the skills. His ultimate, during the ultimate, increase attack by 30%. So remember, you put the best attack that you can, and during his ultimate, that number is increased by 30%. It's awesome how strong this guy can be. If there is only one enemy in range, inflict three stack of radiant erosion if there is more than one enemy in range inflict chain of fate that is let me check let me click on it 
when a linked unit received damage, the other linked unit received true damage equal to 50% of the inflicted damage. And one stack of radiant erosion. Radiant erosion deal continues through damage based on the defense of the inflicted target every two seconds, stack up to three times. It's amazing and it's up to three enemy in range. It's super strong, guys. Very, very strong. Then he have this auto, summon one light of judgment. Light of judgment, a summons that attack together with the summoner. <laughs> it's very strong. For each basic attack launched by the hero. Light of judgment also deal 30% damage to the target. The hero can have up to five instances of this simultaneously. It's super, super strong. Then he's going to have the passive during the ultimate basic attack deal 40% extra true damage based on the hero attack and light of the judgment deal 20% extra true damage based on the hero attack. And by the way, I still forgetting this is the basic. You can skill this up by leveling up the skill as well as the other two that I just read. Here, effect duration, you can increase it up to six seconds. Skill cost can go down. Here, the cooldown can go down on 10 seconds, guys. So this can take place every 10 seconds. If you skill everything up, this guy, it's broke. It's really broke. Then, another thing that he have, uh, reduce the hero cost in the arena by five. The only downer of this guy is quite expensive, 25. But guys, the cost, it's all worth it for what he can do. Then, he have his lower scale, guys. Here, it's where really, there is no chance for the enemy. It's super strong, this Lord skill. Increase faction team member basic attributes by 15%. This is normal, like any other legendary hero. But gain one divinity every 15 seconds with a cup of three. You can consume all divinity to cast Lightning of Truth. Lightning of Truth cause Verdict of Truth 1. That is the worst case scenario. And the worst case scenario. For every one faction alive present, deal true damage equal to 100% of the Lord attack to a random enemy two times. Or he can do Verdict of Truth 2. Verdict of Truth 2. For every one faction alive present, deal true damage equal to 150% now uh, of the Lord attack to a random enemy three times and also inflicts stun for 0.5 seconds. Or final verdict this is where really final means it's finished for the enemy for every one faction ally present deal true damage equal to 200 percent of the lord uh, attacks to a random enemy four times so just read this part guys same of the other in a lower uh, version but if you have five from this faction mean 1000 percent damage for four times a four thousand true damage to the enemy. He's dead. He's dead 100%. There is a video out there from um, uh, Fastidious that show you an example in Gear Ray 2 that the boss come out, die. No chance for him. You put five from this uh, uh, faction and the boss is gone. Then you just need to deal with uh, the minions that come out, easy peasy. It's broke. It's even too strong for the game. If you have him and you don't have him, it's like day and night. Very, very strong. Then, each time the divinity is consumed, faction team member gains sacred blessing. All damage plus 50%, including true damage. <laughs> I mean, guys, this, this it's broke. Winning the game with it. Now, if you are not that lucky, you're not going to get him, you still gonna get a very good legendary. Jira, it's also super good. You are not going to win the game with her, but she's so cool, so unique, very crazy type of skills and talent. I would love also to have her because she looks so unique and amazing. I have millions of ideas that are running through my mind. I just need the legendary who can put this ideas in place. She's amazing. Talent increase max HP by 30%. The higher the current HP percentage, the higher the hero vulnerability up to 30%. It's awesome, very good talent. She's gonna be harder to kill 100% just thanks to the talent. Basic attack, deal 100% damage to one enemy. You can skill it 120. 
normal. This one, guys, it's quite unique. When activated, restore 75% HP immediately. Restore. So she's almost dead. You click that, boom. She's back 75% of her HP just in one click. It's awesome. During the skill effect, she also increased uh, her max HP by 40%, the damage deal by 125, and the attack interval by 30%. Meaning, she's gonna be stronger, but she's gonna attack a little sl slower. Still, she's super good. Oh, lasting for 20 seconds. This effect will be permanent upon the second activation. It's something like Abomination here. These skills is going to be uh, permanent, guys. You know what that means? How strong she still will be? All through all the fight, awesome what she can do. Then she's gonna have this passive, and also here eh, I'm just talking about the basic. You can max the HP plus 20, damage uh, one, uh, 50 total if you level these two together, and the cost minus 100. It's gonna be super strong, guys. Super, super strong. Her passive. For every three basic attack, the fourth basic attack will deal 150% damage. It's awesome. Along with different penetration damage equal to 100% total damage the hero has taken previously. It's awesome. The accumulating damage taken will be resetted once uh, it takes effect. If you don't reset that, it's going to be also another broken uh, legendary. The accumulating damage taken will not exceed 150% of the hero max HP. Also here, they put a cap or she is going to be insane. Very, very strong. Then, and also that one, again, let me go back. It's the basic. You can increase this up to 50% more damage, guys. It's incredible. Then you're gonna have the passive. Inflict retribution on enemies. What re retribution does, the caster received 30% more damage from units inflicted with retribution. Awesome. When attacking a target inflicted with retribution, deal additional damage equal to 2% of the hero max HP. All damage received from enemies uh, not inflicted with retribution is reduced by 20%. So, if you put her in the center of uh, gear raid 1, in the center of the wall, all these units that come, the first one get retribution, all the other give to her 20% less damage. I think she's going to be very tanky there. Maybe even on uh, stage 21, I'm really not sure. I would love to try her, so if I don't get Pritus and I get her, I will still be happy, as long as I get one of these two. Then switch target, remove the retribution inflicted on the previous target. Then if you level the skill up, you can increase the reduction of the damage, as also as the damage based on max HP. 2% on that total and 10% more on the damage from unit without retribution. It's awesome. Also for her, we have here increased damage in arena by 15%. This one is the only one that I don't really know if she can fit in any team in arena. Would be awesome to try. If you have enough crystal and you want to pull for the guaranteed one because you are already with enough legendary in your team and you want a new one, go for it. You are new, go for the one plus one. And if you have even only three, four, five enchant, shoot them and try. You may be gonna get lucky and you're gonna get Pritus. It's a game changer, the game changer. Guys, I hope my tip and the way that I talk about this hero convince you to go for Pritus. 100% is worth it. If you like the video, you know what to do. Thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, super ultra mega appreciated. See you next time. Bye.